In the last video, we learned about loops. If you haven't watched it or need to revise it, then pause this video here and watch what is loop first. Today, we will talk about types of loops. There are two types of loops, counting loops and conditional loops. Let us first discuss what is counting loops. Counting loops are asking the computer to do a certain action for the number of times we want it to perform. So let us take the example of doing jumping jacks. For performing jumping jacks, first our arms will be at the sides and our legs close together. Next we jump in the air with our legs spread till our shoulder width and our arms stretched out above our head from the side. Then we come back to the initial position. So how can we write a counting loop? First, we will write the code for repetition which is repeat and the number of times we want the action to be repeated. We want the jumping jack and coming back to rest to repeat 20 times. For the loop action, we will use jump and rest. So the code will be repeat 20 times jump and rest. We will get a result of jump and rest, jump and rest for 20 times. Now, let us discuss what is conditional loop. It is simple. Let's take the same march past example that we took in the previous video. In the conditional loop, instead of telling how many times we want to repeat, like in the counting loop, we just need to tell the condition to stop. Usually in school, till the flag post, the students march, isn't it? So, when the condition is met, the loop has to stop automatically. The code for conditional loop will be repeat until reaching the flag post, left, right. So upon reaching the flag post, the students will stop marching left, right, left, right. I hope you have understood the types of loop. If you did, don't forget to practice them. To get more clarity, watch the video of what is loop and types of loop back to back. Until next time, keep practicing types of loops.